Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Skyrim. All right, when we left off, we were going to talk to Adriel over here. Thank about you for coming. He... After everything you've already done for Ravenrock, I hate to ask for more, but I can't risk Councillor Morvane being killed. He's in danger of being killed? How? The Ulan family of House Lalu. A rival great house has placed a death mark on the councillor's head. Oh. Why would the Ulans want him dead? It's a private matter. Let's just say they seek revenge for the execution of one of their own, ordered by Councillor Morvane himself. I see. The problem is I don't have any solid proof that anyone from House Lalu is hidden among us. Only my suspicions. Okay. So your concern seems justified to me. It may uh -huh. be justified, but it certainly isn't appreciated. Councillor Morvane simply feels that I'm being paranoid. Well... I'm afraid that one day I'll awaken and discover him dead. But I don't want it to come to that. Fair enough. You feel an attack on the Councillor is imminent? I do. I've received some information from my sources that there could be elements of Ulan's house, House Lalu, already in Ravenrock. That's not good. Why haven't you acted on the information? Ravenrock is a small settlement, so it's hard to accomplish anything in secret. Fair enough. If any of them is from House Lalu, I wouldn't be able to make a move without them knowing. That's a good point. So, uh, how can I help? I had a feeling you'd be willing to listen to me. Usually. Uh, where do I begin? I need you to start out by being my eyes and ears. Search Raven Rock. And see if you can root out these traitors. Okay. The best place to start would be Geldis Sadri, over at the Retching Netch Corner Club. Okay. If he provides you any leads, check them out before bringing them to my attention. I can't afford to make any mistakes. Fair enough. I will do that. What can you tell me about this house? Traitors. The lot of them. Really? Their collaboration with the Empire may have given them unrivaled political and economic strength, but their hearts weren't with the Dunma people. Oh, I see. I presume that was their downfall. Lalu deserved every bit of hatred they received once the Empire released its grasp on Morrowind. Fair enough. Having past ties to the Empire immediately turned them into the scapegoat for the dumb people's suffering. Ah! What happened to House Lalu as a result? They had welcomed the Empire with open arms and benefited from it. When everything was said and done, they were no longer recognized as a great house and were dismissed from the Council. Ah! I see. So why did the Dunmer hate the Empire, now that I think about it? During the Oblivion Crisis, gates to the Plain of Oblivion opened all over Morrowind. Ah. The Empire pulled most of its forces out of Morrowind to deal with the gates in their own homeland, leaving us virtually defenseless. Ah. We had no standing army at the time, just uncoordinated pockets of resistance. So how did they survive at all? House Redoran took charge and was slowly able to build an army. It took years, but it became a force to be reckoned with. Fair enough. When the Argonians invaded years later, House Redoran's army was able to prevent them from sweeping across all of Morrowind. Fair enough. It would be fair to say that House Redoran literally saved the Dunma people from destruction. Fair enough. And now I understand some of the hatred from Skyrim but at the same time uh, <laughs> I, I don't I don't know don't worry you can trust Geldis he's been with us for a long time fair enough well I will go talk to him immediately mainly because I want this quest to uh, get going because it started really abruptly anyway we left off we were going to do this quest so I think I might as well completed in this episode. Shouldn't take that long, I think. Let me just drink my coffee real quick. There we go. Keep me alive and keep me alert. Whoa. Someone's running. Why are you running? Oh, let's talk to whoop, this guy over here. Whoop, I can talk to him at the bar. 
like a civilized person. You got a problem, you talk to him. Your name is Slitter. That is creepy. Okay, anyway. Welcome to the Wretched Netch Corner Club, home of the finest Sue Jammer that will ever grace your lips. If you say so. The mines open, people are buying drinks, and I'm making money again. Just like old times. You're welcome. Anyway, Adril Arano said you might be able to help me. Well, well. Adril's got himself a spy, does he? I like to think of myself as a merc. knows he needs all the help he can get. He's been chasing the Ulins for years now. Years? You think he's mistaken? No. I just think he's going about this the wrong way. Ah, really? You have a better idea. Actually, I do. Ooh. If you want to catch those slippery slaughterfish, you need to let them come to you. Good point. How would I get them to do that? There's an Ulan ancestral tomb near the temple. Someone's been leaving ash yam offerings on the altar inside. Really? If you were to wait inside for whomever that is, I'm betting they'll have some of the answers you're looking for. Why haven't you told Adriel about this? What makes you think I have it? Oh. Anytime Adriel and the Redoran Guard made a move, the Ulans must have been one step ahead and didn't show up. Hmm. Thanks for the tip. You can thank me if it works. Until then, I'd head to the tomb and wait until your visitor shows up. Fair enough. Uh, I have a feeling only waiting for one hour will do it when I get over there. Why did Dunmer leave ash yams in their tombs? When a Dunmer is laid to rest, the body is burned and returned to the ashen soil. Mm -hmm. Since the ash yam is born of the very same soil, it represents rebirth and renewal. The fact that life ends and begins anew. Fair enough. All right. Uh, why did Councillor Morvane execute in Ulan? Back in 95, Vila Ulan came to Ravenrock with a plan to take over our town. Oh. But Fetcher thought he could stir up the locals and use them against the Redoran Guard and then murder Councillor Morvane when we weren't looking. That's fucked. Uh, Viler did this alone, or Vila. He arrived alone, but spread enough coin around to start changing people's minds. Ah. Half the bloody town joined his side. Can you believe that? Kinda, yeah. How did he get caught? He underestimated the Redoran Guard. They were organized and brought a swift end to the coup. That's Vila good. tried to run, but he was caught by Captain Veleth himself. Well... Vila Ulan was executed a short time later, and his remains placed in the Ulan ancestral tomb. Why even give him the tomb? At that point, if he's being that much of a... Shit. <laughs> I was about to say something else. Then just leave him, you know... In the ocean or some shit. I guess I still have some sort of, you know, things I need to practice in that regard. So, your inn has an unusual name. Uh, I'd rather not do that. Uh, what's the specialty of the house? Nah, I'm, I'm good. Safe travels, Outlander. Oh, thank you. That's actually the first time I've heard of Outlander in a nice way. Alright. I'm gonna head out through here. And I'm going to see what's going to go on when I wait in the tomb area for that, uh, little thing. I work. Well, will you get out of my way because I don't need to be talking to you? Thank you. Okay. Oh, hello. I've been looking for you. Really? Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Huh. Your hands only. Let's is this see. who I think it is? Got this from a pretty excited looking dark elf around Ravenrock. Hmm. He said it was important I got it to you as soon as I could. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Alrighty, sounds good. I don't know why it's a Nord guy down here, but hey. Well done, friend. You're welcome, buddy. Nope. Sorry. Well, I wasn't talking to you in the first place. Uh, Morphine Ancestral Tomb. Uh, Ulan Ancestral Tomb. I keep mispronouncing that. Ulan Ancestral Tomb. <laughs> I can't speak anymore. It's too early in the morning. Alright, where is... Where do I have to hide? For this to work. Uh... Where do I have to go? 
trying to figure out what's where. Uh-oh. I feel a sneeze coming on. We're almost coming on. Oh, that's not the button I wanted. I wanted this button. There we go. And wait an hour. Discover the identity of the tomb's visitor. Excuse me. Severin. I didn't realize there was anyone else here. What are you doing here? I presume the same thing you're doing. Leaving an offering for the departed. I'm a Khajiit. I don't recognize Forgive those cousins. my surprise. It's just that I wouldn't expect that sort of behavior from someone who isn't done. Nah, well, that's right. <laughs> you aren't an Ulan. Since there aren't any Ulans left on this island, I've taken it upon myself to leave the traditional offering in their stead. Really? You're lying, you're from Mount Lalu. Ah, that'd be your little accusatory. Tell me why you're really here. What do you mean? I thought I was clear. Not really. I'm simply honoring a fellow departed Dunmer. Uh-huh. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to meditate a bit. Alrighty. Well, I'll let you do that then, buddy. I'll let you do that while I, uh... I go a little bit and sell a few things and all that fun stuff, you know. Alright. Uh, she's full of shit. <laughs> Something's going on with Severin household. So. Yeah. Bunch of assholes. Those guys are. Uh, drink my coffee while I uh, prepare my next move. Ah, perfect. Used up all my coffee. <laughs> so now I'm awake. Bright eyed and bushy tailed. Well, as bushy as a tiger tail can get. Okay, here he is. Hey, buddy. I hope Geld has proved useful. A little bit. You've made any progress? Uh, I suspect Tilisu Severin is the culprit. Tilisu. Telesu. Are you sure? Well, I saw her in the Ulin tomb. So Geldus's plan worked, eh? Every time we tried to... Oh! Titties! Fuck! Okay, well... Good. Did I get him? Yeah, I got him. Nice. I'm gonna head over here and deal with this motherfucker. I did not expect this to happen, so now I'm just gonna do this. Gods, please be there when I get there. Fuck. It's gonna be forever and a half to get up there. Uh. God damn it. That didn't work. Please tell me that I got you. No, it didn't. God. Oh, fuck. Why are you. God damn it. Fuck it. Come down here like a man. Or like a dragon. Fuck. There we go. There we go. And come down on my level. Come on. Gotta do it and land I can actually reach. You fucker. Uh, there we go. Alright, that works. Come on. Okay, that's working a little better than that at all. But I do need some potion on me. If that'll work. Uh... I have some resist, not uh, resist, uh, weakness to poison. That would start uh, making poison damage work a lot better when I'm hitting him with it. So there we go. There we go. Come on. Come on. There we go. Now you're going to get down again. You know what's good for you. But nothing's going to be good for you. You're pretty much already dead. And ground. You're not going to be getting back up for a little bit. That's for sure. And there we go. Woo! Hells yes. Okay, that was weird. 
Well, he's dead. I'm gonna take all of that, thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Ah, Dragon Soul. Been a while since I've had that. It's always nice to be able to get a little bit more. Uh, is there a way I can goof with the body? There is. Yep. Uh, if you want to look, you can go ahead. Whoop! It's over there now. Look at it there. <laughs> Alright, now you guys are kind of in my way, so get up. Thank you. Dragonborn. Yep, I am Dragonborn. It's weird that they know what that is, though. I hope no one died in the middle of the city while I was uh, dealing with that one. That would not be nice, and I would not be happy. But uh, at the same time, I'm already overburdened, so <laughs> fuck me. Uh, I could sell these off to the uh, potions person, actually. So, that actually works out a little bit in my favor. Uh, this is going to take forever. Let me just do this. And there we go. Whoa, that let me sprint a little bit. Nice. Alright, well, it's going to take a little while longer. Uh... Just making sure it's all in the right... Yep, it's all in the right spell. Good. I'm going to sell... Actually, no. I'm going to talk to... Fuck. Fuck. I'm hitting the wrong buttons. Every which way. I hope go... Yep. Uh, I'm going to go through this since so I already Gildas saw it. If Telesul's involved in any sort of plot to harm Counselor Morvay, mm -hmm. I'm going to need hard evidence to prove it. Fair enough. So, go search their house. I'm not kicking down anyone's door until I have solid evidence in hand. So you want me to do You're it? You're wrong about Telesu. Things would quickly go downhill around here, and the real culprits might slip away. I can't afford for that to happen. Fair enough. What if they try to stop me? If you have evidence that it places your life in peril, I would expect you to do whatever you must to keep yourself alive. Here, this key should open the front door of the manor in case they've locked it. Good luck. Thank you. Can you tell me more about the Severin family? Telesu is wife to the family patriarch, Vendel. Mm -hmm. They have a single child, a daughter named Miriam. She's the one that flirts with They me? arrived here ten years ago and have been nothing but a benefit to Raven Rock ever since. Huh. A benefit how? They are quite wealthy, and they've been quite generous by sharing their fortune with the community. They've contributed coin, food, supplies, even helped repair a few of the buildings in town with their own hands. Hmm. Nothing unusual about them at all? People have mentioned it's a bit odd about how close in age Mary appears to be to her father, but that's hardly a cause for alarm. Are Just you make sure? sure you find solid evidence. If I accuse them without it, I'll be the laughing stock of the colony. Hmm. Fair be enough. Be careful. If the Severans have betrayed us, then they'll be well armed. Fair enough. That is nice to know, at least. At least I'll be able to plan at that point. I think their house is the one way over there. I need to sell things to you, so don't move too far. Thank you. I don't know who sent you here, but you've given us something to build on here. I hope someday we can repay you for your kindness. Like I always say, money. That helps. What have you got for ah, sale? Ah, so you're an alchemist then. Vaguely. Kind of, sort of, maybe-ish. Lee. Okay, I'm going to see what else I can get from you. Uh, I sold a lot of invisibility potions. <laughs> a lot. That's like 13 of them. Okay, I'm going to pick that stuff up. And maybe I'll pick up one of those... Yeah, the filter of strength. Those might help me out later. Uh, as for ingredients, I'm not entirely sure I should sell all those, but misc. I have a lot of dragon bones and a lot of dragon scales. And that should be enough to get my gold back. There we go. Perfect. And potions. Let's see if we can sell off any more of these. Brief invisibility. Yeah, I could still use that. However... 
That last invisibility one I couldn't sell, I'll definitely sell that. For right now. And anything else, really, I can sell. I don't see much. Really? I resist poison, huh? That'll work. I'll sell these old ones. That's for sure. And... Yeah, that's about it. That's all I'm really willing to sell. So, there we go. Thank you. Remember, I have plenty of potions and ingredients. I'll always remember. Ah, believe me, I will remember. Alright, now... They, uh... They don't seem to be out in the city right now. Which means they might be in the house. Which means I might be a little SOL if I try to go in. Uh, yep, requires the key. So, uh... Yeah, we couldn't really lockpick it this if we tried. Anyway. Alrighty. Well. Hopefully we don't have to kill anyone before we find evidence. Hopefully. Key phrase. Hello? Uh oh. Who's there? Right here, of course For you are. But oh, uh, Well, that at least proves they have something to do with it. There we go. And, ah, come on, I meant to pull out the sword. And I'm going to get a level up from that. Awesome. Oh, okay. Come on. Come on, damn it. Well, come on, take your love. There we go. I think that was, I think that was the girl that was flirting with me all the time. Damn, she is strong. Okay, uh, I think this is the last dagger. I think I've earned it at this point. Holy shit, you managed to take every guy. And... Beat it! Nice. He at least managed to take it down anyway. Woo! That was something. Uh, gold diamond ring, ring of resist magic. I'll take all of the valuables as these people are clearly guilty considering they just screamed for house Ul for house lalu and for vilur ulin so uh i'll take that for sure wielding hello uh we got emerald necklace and silver ring awesome sauce well <laughs> we have them basically dead to rights well i mean the house dead to rights these two are already dead Okay, well, I'm gonna use this. Uh, is there anything else? I can make venison stew. Alright, that's enough for me. There we go. You alright there, bud? You took quite a beating there. You alright? Yeah, you look okay. Alright. Uh, do you have anything else? These are all considered stolen still? Really? God damn it. Okay, well, uh,. Cover evidence. Recover evidence. Wow. They have a whole forge and everything. No wonder he was worried. Okay. Well. Um. Shit. A whole bunch of stuff in here. God damn. Oh, that's. I meant to go to this door. And, uh. Let's see what we got in here. Steal from chest. Uh, no. Nothing that could tie them to this place. God damn, they have everything in here. Look at all this. Got the dining room table. Got, got the family safe. The Ulan matter. I'll take everything else that's in here. Thank you. And the Ulan matter. Dear Counselor Saladin. In a matter of days, I believe we'll be ready. Our forces hidden within Ashfellow Citadel have been training night and day, ready to strike when we give the signal. With Captain Veleth distracted by the Ash Spawn attacks, the timing seems perfect. Well, he's not anymore, so... I've waited nearly a decade to exact my revenge upon Lierlil Moravain for the death of my ancestor, and I long for the moment my blade will be drawn across his throat. The next letter you'll receive from me will include his head in a sack. Display it proudly in the halls of House Lalu, brother. Vendel Ulan. Oh. 
definitely take that because that is definitely evidence. Bring the evidence to Adriel Arano. We will do that in the next episode because we're already over time. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments. So we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games and uncovering murderous plots for you.